Who doesn't love 3D interactive force-directed graphs? I know I do, and I've always wanted to create one, but they you know, can be kind of complicated. At least I thought so, until I realized, hey, everybody's writing per programs with ChatGPT. I wonder how long that will take me. Well, turns out, I don't know, 15 minutes? I was amazed. So today I'm gonna show you how I did that and what it looks like. Uh, well, and pff, here it is. Pretty crazy, right? 50 lines of code or so, depending on how many nodes you add. I've got like 20 or some odd nodes here. It zooms in and out, look at that. It rotates in three dimensions. And there's one other thing that it did. Oh yeah, of course, it's force directed. Look at that, move things along and they bounce all over the place. Now I'm gonna show you how I did it. You're gonna start at ChatGPT. So I said, ChatGPT, create a React website with an interactive React Force Graph graph. Now, how did I know it was gonna be that kind of graph? Because I had already been talking to ChatGPT and I had asked for what the best, you know, 3D open source graph was. And after, you know, a little bit of a conversation there, I went ahead and chose that one. Uh, and I'm glad I did because it was really easy to do. So ask it to do that. And, you know, the first thing it's going to tell me is I got to install the Create Rack React app, which I installed the React app. Then I was able to create one, uh, go into that directory, uh, go ahead and install the React Force graph. And then, you know, pff, there's the code. Now, it's only got a couple nodes in it. You can see from the example I just showed you that I have added some nodes. So let's go look at the code I ended up with. I just took the example that it gave me and started adding a few nodes. Then I was like, hmm, what I'm going to use this for, I mean, there's a million applications, right? You can think of science, you can think of medical. I work in the networking industry and we like to visualize networks, nodes and servers and everything in this way. That's probably what I would want to do. So I was like, well, servers would be bigger and they would look like subnets. So I started rearranging the nodes and you know, that's how I ended up with the graph that I did. That little enhancement was simply going to chat GPT and saying, hey, chat GPT, uh, give me a 3D graph and more nodes. Oh yeah, well, the reason we had that part of the conversation is I started with a 2D version of it. I'm like, oh, I want it to be 3D. So I just asked it to do a 3D version. And what do you know? Uh, it was <laughs> just had to change a few lines of code in there and it turned 3D. And now I said, wow, because ChatGPT likes to be flattered. But I said, wow, well, make the nodes bigger. So it gave me a, a chunk here that I just stuck right in that made node one bigger. Then I also added more nodes and I made another subnet and made the middle of that node bigger as well. That was it for now. I mean, you can see how simple that was, what the potential is uh, that, you know, I, I went on, right? Now I'm like, <laughs> add a click menu to the nodes so that a menu appears with an option to create a node that's a connection to the selected node. It's like, okay, is what I'm about to do next. I do it from the console, do NPM start, and boom, there it is. So cool. Who knows what I'll do next, but uh, I'll tell you, it is just so much fun to have an idea. A lot of times they come during a dream, and then in just a few minutes, be able to implement that in ChatGPT. Most of my experiments have just been Python, but now this time I was like, well, you know, probably going to want that redirected graph in a web browser. And so I was like, create a React website out of it. And so it did that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that from now on. Uh, my name is Chris Bloom. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.